there. That right there is an Audi R8 that I bought at a dealer only auction. I bought a green light sight unseen, had it shipped to me, took it to the dealer and found out that it needs $16,718 in repairs. So the auction I bought it from, ACV Auctions, thank you very much, I knew you'd take care of me, unwound the deal. Unwound the deal means they returned the car. And Good afternoon, I've heard back from our team and the decision to unwind the R8 has been approved. And wrote me a check for the entire amount, right there, for the entire amount. And I have a plan on how I'm gonna buy this car back at a fraction of the cost. You gotta follow with me and see if it's gonna work out in my favor. Let's get going. So let me start by saying if you haven't seen my other stories about this Audi R8, you can check those out with the links above or in the links at the end of this video as well. So this right here is my baby. This is my dream car. It is an Audi R8 mid-engine V8 R-Tronic automatic transmission. The car is an absolute monster and I love everything about it. But let's take a minute to appreciate the things that I never show you guys. This is my 92 Fairlady Z with 114,000 kilometers and for you Americans, that is 72,000 original miles. And yes, it is right hand drive with T-tops. And this is my 90 Eagle Talon TSI five speed all wheel drive turbo. But the video isn't about those cars right there. It's about this one right here. So about two weeks ago, I bought this car at a dealer-only auction, ACV Auctions. Love, love them. I use them all the time. I buy a ton of fun stuff with them. But I bought this one sight unseen. They give a great description. They disclose everything that the inspector can find about the car. The only thing is they missed a couple things. Well, what did they miss? How about that guy right there? So after about 10 miles of driving, the check engine light came on for a catalytic converter, $3,500 to repair. The dash up here... It's pulling apart, a little warped, five grand to repair. The tires are mismatched, they did tell me that. There's just a bunch of issues that I didn't know about the car that I bought. So I took it to the Audi dealer, I had them go through it, and they gave me a bill for $16,718 in repairs. So I sent that bill to the auction that I bought it from, and they offered me $3,000 to help with the costs. We have completed our review and can offer an adjustment here. Based off our numbers, we can provide a check for $3,000. It's a little silly, but maybe that's a start to a negotiation. Anyway, I just said, no, I don't even want it. Just unwind the deal, return the car, and they agreed. So I had the ACV rep today, the auction company that sold me the car, come back. I guess they don't actually take the car back. What they do is they rerun it at auction, and then someone else will buy it, and they organize shipping, and I keep it on my lot, don't drive it, until it's picked up by the transporter. But now I'm kind of tempted to repurchase it now that all the known issues are listed, what if it's significantly less? I mean, somebody's gonna buy it. Why not it be me now that I know the car, I like the car and know what it needs? So in the next hour or so, I think it's gonna be rerun and I might just rebid on it. Oh, by the way, for those longtime subscribers, you know the game, haven't done it in a while, but what am I driving? I think it's pretty obvious. Comment down below if you know what I'm driving. Five minutes later. I have literally only taken this car out once this year. This is the second time this entire year that I've had this car out. And it is freaking pouring on me like torrential downpours now. It was sunny 60 seconds ago. Now I have to fly home in the rain. This is ridiculous. But the way it works, they don't have an auction house. They don't have an actual parking lot that they store the cars at they sell online for other dealers. And the other thing that I don't quite get is they don't take it back to the selling dealer. ACV buys the car back, so they actually own this car right now. They sent out an inspector, an auctioneer, to my shop yesterday to go through it, take pictures, take detailed description, and post it up on an auction. And how this thing works? So this is a mirror here, and it uh, picks up the reflection of the underneath underside of the car. So it gets up, like if the car was on a lift up in the air. So this is AC's virtual, ACV's virtual lift. Yep, ACV virtual lift. And the VIN. After you scan the VIN, you open the app, scan the VIN, and uh, right here you have the recording. Mm -hmm. And you set it right down in the holster. Like this. Press play. And then you drive the car over. So 
what do you think? It took like 30 minutes? How long were you here for? About 40 minutes. 40 minutes, so it was yep. pretty thorough. Yeah. Would you mind showing me the stuff that you found? I'm curious to see if you found things that I didn't see. Uh, I found some rock chips on the hood here, and I found a little bit of curb rash on the wheel here. I didn't find any paint work on the car. It's all original paint. How do you know that it's all original paint? What do you do? I paint meter it, and I look for imperfections in the paint, like fish eyes or overspray or orange peel. So they give you a paint uh, meter too? Yep, they give me a paint meter and uh, I'm trained to look to know what to look for when it's been painted. So do you look at the edges or do you look for overspray? How I do you figure it out? look at the edges, I look at it at different angles in the light. Uh, any kind of imperfection that doesn't show that it's perfect. Uh, missing center cap. Mm -hmm. uh, an exhaust rattle I, I found on, uh, I found a loose exhaust. Uh, shield on the muffler. Really clean car for a 2009. And I found the dash cover peeling. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So as soon as the inspector's done, he posted it, goes up for sale, and it sells in like 20 minutes. It's a 20 minute auction. Another dealer across the country buys it for less than I bought it for because they're going to disclose a transmission shutter. They're going to disclose a catalytic converter code. They're going to disclose the dashboard. So they're going to talk about all the things that wasn't listed in the original auction. So someone somewhere across the country is going to buy this car for less than I bought it for. But my plan is to buy this car back for less than I bought it for. So I'm thinking 48 grand, I paid 58 and changed for it. I'm thinking I can get it for around 48 now. So if I can get it for $10,000 less than I paid for it originally, I can put brand new tires on it. I can put a catless exhaust or a cat back exhaust. I can fix the dash and upholsterer. I can do all this stuff for less than $16,000. I can probably do all this stuff for less than $10,000. So if I get it for 48, I will have my absolute dream car. So if you remember my boat fiasco, I bought the boat from the same auction house that I bought this R8 from. And I had such a headache with the boat, but I bought that green light too. It means they help cover the costs of undisclosed problems. So they offered me two options. Number one, $5,000 or number two, return the boat, just take it back. Well, I liked the boat and I was still into the boat pretty well. So I took the five grand thinking I could get it done for around five to $6,000. I was wrong. I was wrong, very wrong. It's gonna cost $38,000. Because it's been four months, I still own the boat and it's at a boat dealer getting a new engine that's gonna cost me 20. So I was wrong. So I unwound the deal in this one because I don't wanna make that same mistake. But now that I said I want to sell it, I kind of regret it. I really, really like this car. I love the radio, I love the carbon fiber package, I love the steering wheel, I love the feel of it. Everything about this car is just thrilling. I enjoy driving it, but it's a gamble. But for $10,000 less, it's a calculated gamble that I'm willing to take. So here I am sitting on my patio with my son, and here's the Audi R8. What has it been, three, four hours since he was here, and now the car's listed and they run it transmission delayed shifting possible transmission issue rock chips on hood tinted windows exhaust rattle like heat shield loose check engine light shipping to me from me is 225 dollars i think i'm gonna bid on it again so here's the auction here's the car auction car Go through, they give a full description, and then you can see he took 47 photos, detailed photos of everything. So here I am, 48 seconds left. I'm the high bidder at 48,600, which is $10,000 less than I originally bought it for. Now this, realistically, is what this car should be, because I now have $10,000 that I'm able to invest in this vehicle. And then it's worth what I paid for it. But dealers are paying too much money for cars right now, so... You really don't know. I mean, somebody might be willing to pay more than this for an Audi with a transmission issue or a possible transmission issue. Did I get it? We'll see. I am the high bidder. Continue negotiating. They want 50. Do I pay 50 or do I not pay 50? I don't know. So I was the high bidder at 48 and change. They want 50. There's still a $1,600 difference plus auction fees and I really don't want to spend it. I want it for my price. So I'm gonna to try to stay firm at that price and see if I can get it for 48.6. I'm willing to go up to 49, even 49 and a half because there is an auction fee after that. So I'd like to be out the door at 50 grand. I love the car and I know I wanna keep it. I love this car. So 
man, I really don't want to hit 50 plus auction fees. I'll be in it for 50500 which is still a great deal for that car. But I just want to hold out for a little bit more money. I want it for my price. Am I being greedy? I don't know. I really have to have a cutoff because the car could be a headache and it's still a little bit of a gamble. It could have a transmission issue. So I feel like my cutoff should be 49500 If it doesn't work, it's not meant to be. That's my number. Two hours later. Oh, I just got a call. Another dealer offered them 50 for it. The car is sold. It is not mine anymore. I lost it. Over 500 bucks. Was that a mistake? Did I do a good thing? Did I do a bad thing? I really don't know. Well, I'm going to go home, have some dinner with my family, be disappointed tonight, relax. Tomorrow's a new day. It's an auction day. We'll see what I can find to replace my dream car. I think I'm in mourning, actually. The thing is, I don't know when that car is getting picked up. It could be tomorrow. And I like it because it's the spoiler I want, it's the wheels I want, it's the engine and transmission I want. That's my dream car. More than a Lamborghini, more than a Ferrari. You asked me what my dream car was. Mm, a C8, more than a C8 even, because I could use it all winter. I just want to put a ski rack on it. And then you and I could go skiing yeah. in an Audi R8. Just had so much aspirations for it, and mm -hmm. I've turned it over to somebody else, and now I'm disappointed. Wait, did someone buy it? Someone else bought it That's fancy. for 500 bucks more than I wanted to spend. Maybe I was being greedy. I don't know. That stinks. This could be the last day that this car is in my driveway. I could have done the exhaust. Could have done tires. I had such great aspirations, and now it's just gonna leave me. What are you doing? You wanna play? You wanna play? You wanna play? Come here. On a different Come note, here. let's take a minute to appreciate, not you, but this. My 9,000 mile Dodge Viper, RT10. And my bicycle collection. Does anybody else have a bicycle collection? This right here is a 1987 Kent Super Scooter. That is a Mongoose Replica Stranger Things Edition 80s Replica Bicycle. That is a new old GT Performer. That is a Hero Screamer with front shocks. Yeah, you guessed it. Dino Air with white GT tires. Those are the originals. And white Dino Grips, clear Dino Grips. Dino Air right there. That's a Dino Comp, actually, with also GT tires. I have another GT Performer with GT Mags and a Huffy Sonic 6, which is actually probably the least desirable to most, but the most desirable to me because I've had two of those back in my younger days. Anyone else collect weird things from their childhood? I'm going to show you some more. Follow Here's me. some more toys from my childhood. Yes, that is a Super Soaker 100 new in box. Talking Spider-Man, the amazing Spider-Man new in box. We have a Ken Griffey Jr. starting lineup. We have, who's that, Frank Thomas? Who's that, Nolan Ryan? We have an X-Men phone, a Spider-Man phone. Who else had a Fast Tracks? Or the Typhoon. And yes, that is Starscream, new in a box. And last but not least, Shippa! Who knows what this is? Yeah, I have one. Hey, it's Craig from Flying Wheels. Another dealer auction day. You gotta check this thing out behind me because it's unreal. Right here is a 1975 Volkswagen camper van with 23,000 original miles. If this doesn't scream 1975, I don't know what does. These are the original seatbelts. Volkswagen, original pillows that it comes with. So you pull this pin right here, and then you just push it up, and it pops and up on its this own. Goes, pull. This is like a counter in a cabinet. Yeah. You have the original books too. Whoa! Wow. That's a water tank, yeah. sink, Spirit and a wash. It comes with the original mosquito screen that buttons in here all the way around. So when you're sleeping, you can leave the door open and not have the bugs. This is all the original paint and original chrome. And even the smoothie wheels. These vented windows with original house screens inside. Right here. Oh, plug, all right. I have a question for all you guys and gals, so pay attention. Right here says that it's a 2010 Shelby Super Boss. Ever. I have never heard of Super Boss ever in my life. It has the Shelby KR, King of the Road hood. 
with Shelby wheels or are those just Carol Shelby center caps? It has the GT500 emblem on the rear. Check that out right there. Shelby badge. On the inside, it looks like a stock Mustang GT with this stuck to it. Description says it's one of a kind custom build. Now here's the real screwy thing. This came with a 4.6 liter. But this has a Boss 302 engine, which wouldn't even be a Shelby engine. And the other thing is if you can see the lines right here, there's some runs in the clear coat and some discoloration in the hood, which is probably burning from wet sanding and buffing. There's one screwy car. What's your opinion on that? So it's at 23,000 already. Okay, there we go. So I may have missed out on my Audi R8 and I am extremely disappointed about it, but I think I might have made up for it. So yesterday I was at the auction and I picked up this a Porsche Panamera 4S with 50,000 original miles from the original owner. Check out the inside. It does have cup holders. You know how much I love those cup holders. And every seat looks like it's never been sat in, except the driver's seat. So if you look over here, it is near perfect. Check out these back seats. This is like the epitome of luxury style and class. There's a perfect amount of wood to chrome to leather combination. The car is absolutely perfect. I was the high bidder on it last week, and I was the high bidder on it this week. And it was a lot less than you'd expect because some severe fading all up here in the clear coat and all right here and all here so that might have to be my replacement for the r8 for now that's my new winter beater i guess not a bad problem to have and while we're at it let's talk about some other cool toys i have that right there is a 93 chevy corvette convertible with 49,000 original miles triple burgundy triple burgundy actually probably quadruple burgundy meaning color top it's wet out, so it looks a little darker than it is an interior. But I say quadruple because even the center caps match. 40th anniversary, and today I'm driving up to the dealer that I bought it from to go buy, what's a five fiver? Quintuple burgundy. Because today I'm driving up to the dealer to go pick up the hard top that's color matched to that car as well. And sadly or not sadly, this 69 Nova has been sold. It is being shipped out to another part of the country. See you later four-door Nova, you didn't even last a week. So to all you haters out there, it didn't even matter that it was a four-door. Somebody scoop this thing right up. It's killing me to hand those keys over. Thank you. Be good to her. Oh, it's going to Florida? I don't know if I'm crying or if it's allergies, but I'm really sad right now. Imagine doing that in a standard transmission. And I'm sure he feels the pressure right now with me videoing too. Doesn't make it any easier for him. Goodbye, my old friend. Wasn't long enough. Pop. Second. Yeah. I got a gift for you. It's outside. So check this out. I'll meet you over your truck. My truck. Yeah. A company gave me this for you to try out to review and see if it's useful and practical. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. So check this thing out. It's a step that plugs into your trailer hitch, and then it folds down. It's pretty heavy and really well built. It's like crazy heavy actually so I was gonna give it to you and see if you like it it comes with two settings so you can put it in farther or deeper I guess based on how you want it if you put it here all right so the pins in I would assume though if you're driving the wind would probably knock that down wouldn't it yeah I would think so I guess you can keep it down and whack your shins too but anyway it's heavy enough to test your suspension so that's into the second hole, and there's still like two inches of clearance. That yeah. might stay up. Does it work for you? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, good. The only thing is it's useless with the tailgate down. <laughs> it's not helpful in that aspect. But if you wanted to reach into your bed, it would work. Here. All right, so pretend there's something in your bed you wanted. There you go. Can you reach down to the bottom? Yeah. Good. I get stuff given to me all the time to try out on the YouTube channel, but I thought this one would be useful for you. I forget the name of the company, but you can get the link to purchase this on my Amazon store in the description to this video. Yeah, you're welcome. And I think there's like a 40% coupon code too underneath the description. I wonder if it would flap in the wind. You think wind would catch it? So you almost have to loop it down, but it's really rugged and like heavy and built well. But check this out. German spent the entire day buffing this. If you don't know German, you haven't been following us long enough. German is the magic man when it comes to reconning cars, detailing cars. He has unbelievable skills. German doing what he does. He spent the entire day wet sanding and buffing this car for me and check it out. Now you couldn't see the severe fading in the previous video because it was wet out. But if you look closely, you can kind of see it was right there a little bit and a little bit right there. And that is like, I'm really trying to focus on it because it's in good lighting. But most of it went away. I would say like 90% of it went away. There's a little bit around the uh, headlight cleaners. The car came out awesome. So this is now my new winter beater Porsche Panamera 4S. Going to put some ski racks on it. And hopefully it's as exhilarating as I expect it to be. And I hope it'll make a good replacement for my so sad loss of the Audi R8. Guys, thanks for watching my videos. I appreciate it always. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe like here, here or something. Always appreciate the support. I hope this video is interesting, entertaining, or educational. I'll see you later. Make sure to follow for more car videos. Oh, don't forget to click thumbs up because when you thumbs up or comment, tell me your opinions on the video. Was it good? Was it bad? Does it stink? Was I greedy for the $500? Did I make the right decision letting it go? I want to know all your opinions because I read your comments and I appreciate it. And then when you comment and like things, the algorithm picks it up and boosts the videos to help grow my channel so I can make better videos. Guys, I'll see you all later. Adios. Thank you.